What's going on guys? Son of Beast here. We're back for another NBA 2K21 of the of the playoff edition of the Western Conference Finals. The Suns and Clippers are the only two teams left on even side to bring up with another run of a score. As you can see, the Phoenix Suns are extending the lead already. It's 3-0. If they win the game, then they take out the Clippers with a shout-out series win. If the Clippers win, that means the Suns are going back home to play in Game 5. Once more, they get the chance to score big here. So, we have spoken about breaking news at this point. The Sixers have tied the series with the Bucks, 1-1. And now, they're about to be doing it in Milwaukee later tonight, as I will be doing the next video pretty soon. This is nothing what we have seen before, but this is what everyone was thinking about then. Why do I need to do it? Well, it's because I, because I, well, I have done so hard in each game. Right now, at this point, the Clippers needs to find their win to take Game Four on the road. If they don't win at all, that means it's on, it's on the Suns to take the round and move up to the finals at the podium in position. At this time, it's time to bring those two teams together and find out who will win the game. So anyway, if you have never seen the episode 47 of the 7th Annual 2K TV Awards, make sure you watch it now here on 2K TV. And 2K, and 2K22 of the NBA will be coming out next season of 2021 to 22. So I expected to do uh, do a big favor of yours if you are if you're watching this video. I would highly recommend watching other uh, other the other NBA highlights here here for real and and for the and for the uh, 2K events that you're about to be seeing if you guys are able to watch this part of the video. And now let's head on down to Los Angeles as we welcome you to the presentation of the NBA Western Conference Finals. Our cameras the and the cameras are ready to get things going as they're walking in right now. A lot of confidence. And look at the bright light here. This is what they are calling in for Los Angeles, bringing some of a good momentum here. NBA on court is what we are expecting to see in new drafts at that point. But let's get right into DA. David Aldridge, it's all yours. Last season, Paul George had a homecoming. 
He said, as a kid, I pictured playing in L.A. My parents being able to watch me at Staples. I'm not playing for the Clippers. This is home. I'm playing for the home team. Doesn't get any better than that. Kevin, his family is backing him up. They show up to every game here. What a story, what a story here. Thank you, D.A. Checking out the opening lineups here for Game 4. We got Devin Booker against Paul George on the shooting guard key matchups. Then, of course, we have his Kawhi Leonard against McCall Bridges in the key matchup on small forward. On the other hand, is Jay Crowder versus Marcus Morris Sr. On point forward, DeAndre Ayton against Nicholas Batum in the center. And on point guard, Chris Paul against Reggie Jackson. Monty Williams is the head coach here for the Phoenix Suns. His career was looking good. But this time, he has to find out about game four to make the plan for the win. As of right now, the Suns win the tip-off here, and we start here in game four. Win or go home for the Clippers. Here's Crowder on the other hand. He will take a drive and the first foul. What a shocking moment. That's on Marcus Morris Sr., his first. Only one foul here on the Clippers. Tyrone Liu would have able to answer him that Marcus Morris Sr. is playing hard. But he but the strong ability on on the uh, defensive uh, status is working is is a little too much pressure. He's trying to get it right, but he has to do it for himself. one falls in. Crowder, he's been playing here for many seasons at that point. First, he went off to Utah Jazz for the first. Then, the second one that he has brought up was the uh, was the other uh, team that he was never able to face it before. He's with the Phoenix Suns, with Chris Paul and the others. Most of the time, that Jay Crowder was able to pick it up is what he has done before. And now he has a lot more uh, he has a lot more drills to do for this season before he can finish his career. The rebound by George. Three-pointer off the line. A.N. right on Jackson. Passes to Paul. Paul right to Crowder with a shot up. And it's missed off the target. Crowder missed his first bucket of the night. He only has two at the free throw line. And we have Reggie Jackson slamming down. Chris Paul trying again. This time he passes to McCall Bridges. Bounce pass at Aiden. Aiden to bring up the double man. The three baller. That's on McCall Bridges. He's got his first three pointer. Assist by Aiden. Aiden has his first assist here in the game, in game four. George on Booker. Five to two. Finds Kawhi Leonard. Six on a shot clock. He has to get a shot hit. And Kawhi Leonard slams the dunk down. He's got a second one to bring it up. For Chris Paul. Right to Booker. Booker, he has been playing here last time, but, uh, but last time it was Chris, it was uh, Chris Paul that was receiving his career most total of points. But Devin Booker, he was really off the stand, taking a shot up and away, and he makes it before the shot clock expired. Only five minutes left. Booker got his first bucket. Jackson on Paul. He drives up. Rejected by Paul. And a save made by Reggie Jackson. He's got his second bucket of the night. It's 7-6. Suns in the head. Now he passes to Crowder. Moves over to McCall Bridges. Screen, not able to pick it, but it's Jackson with the steal. Here's a two-on-one. Let her open. Look. It doesn't go in that time. Chris Paul has his first rebound. He will take it from here. Crowder able to hit the screen, but that time it gotten away. Paul jumping the drive. 
Well played on the run. Chris Paul also had his first bucket. All those guys receiving the first buckets except for Aiton. He has to get one in here too. Land it on Bridges. He goes up. And one made for the claw. McCall Bridges received his first personal on Phoenix Suns. Only one team foul. Monte Williams has to ask, and McCall Bridges has just tried to keep it going, but it doesn't work for him at that moment. One shot coming for the claw, Kawhi Leonard. He makes one in. He ties it up. First quarter is starting to go big here for tonight. But here's uh, Aiden. He's trying to pick it up. Aiden right over to Bridges. Bridges. Ball for three. He makes one in there. First three baller for Paul outside the range. He has five now on the board. Here comes Freddie Jackson. He goes right in there. George on Booker. Screen number two. Shot is going up. And it missed again. Aiton grabs his first rebound. Open look. Booker. Shot's good. Booker takes a second one. First three-pointer tonight for game four. Assist by Jay Crowder. Now here's Batum on Aiton. Aiton blocks it up. Here he comes. Down low. And dunk it across. All guys have got the points. DeAndre Ayton, he's definitely a good defender. Only one turnover here on the Clippers. Just about under three minutes left here in the first quarter. George on Booker. George inside. Up it goes, and it doesn't go in. Aiton taking two rebounds here for tonight. Crowder with his finish, and he drives one in. Crowder gets his second bucket. Field goal is updated as 88% is on the Suns, 40 on the Clippers. The first timeout we'll call out is the, is the Clippers. Just a good start here for the Phoenix Suns to pick it up in the lead, but there's more to get there in time. As I just said before, we got a great gold medal here for the three vs. three basketball women. For the women to pick up, they made a win here and received a gold medal following along with ROC and the silver medal and China, the bronze medal. Well done here for the women's medals, women's for the uh, three, vs. three on three basketball. Also with softball, softball uh, USA, has, has uh, earned their silver medal, but Japan made a gold medal. Of course, Team USA, Carla Dresso wins the men's 100 meter freestyle and a first individual gold in the Olympic record. Well done to the, uh, to the USA, and finally, we have is the women's all-around medals. It was lead, I put up a result, 53.433. Well done to the USA, we're gonna keep it going. And see what happens here. If you guys are taking a look at the Olympics, if you're if you're happy to see Team USA take it all, make sure you watch it now on NBC Sports app. If you missed it, check out the highlights for now. A successful alley oop here for the Clippers. Here's Payne. He will take a first one look. Johnson roll over to Craig. Now back to Johnson. Now he goes right back to Booker. Counts pass to Payne. Back to Booker. Six on the shot clock. Two minutes left. Sarich takes the first bucket here. It will be Devin Booker with the assist. He has one. Johnson still on Leonard, but now the drive is up. Fluter up and in. It's Boy Leonard picking up nine points tonight. Payne trying it again. He fishes off to Sarich. Booker up already. Booker, Payne, over to Craig. He bounce pass to Johnson. Shoots over Leonard. He doesn't go in that time. Zubox takes the first rebound. 
and Rojan Rondo will carry here. Have a look. Nice pass by Rojan Rondo, and it's Kawhi Leonard picking up a number two. Another good pass here for Rojan Rondo. Here's Greg, under last minute left here in the first quarter. Payne out in front. Takes the three. Payne receiving the first three, and it's Craig with the first assist in game four. Rondo against Payne, pass to Zubox. Zubox, man, flows it in there. They're trying to get it on the board, but here's Payne. He will lay it off here to Craig. Craig, right to Booker. Booker finding Sarich. The teams are having a little trouble here to go on offense. Oh, Sarich rebounded it, but the shot clock is winding down. The Booker drive. The fadeaway shot is no good. Only 20 seconds to go. Leonard all alone. Rebounded by Johnson. Cameron Johnson receives his first rebound. Booker right back to Johnson. Six to go. Johnson still trying to look out here. Booker with a three. It doesn't go in. That will be that will be the end of the first quarter. It's 24 to 17. We'll be right back. After this. Everybody wants to win. Um, and there's no egos. Everybody has fun. We play together. We move the ball. We make sacrifices. Uh, and we enjoy getting stops. We're ready to tune in for the second quarter. We talked about before about the other star that we talked already. Paul George, he was receiving his only timing that he has been played out that time. Over and over, he, he has been working really, really hard. Sometimes he, he sometimes gets a little bit a uh, little bit off the angle that he really had to do. Some other players are just really like wanting to help him out. But most importantly, what, what Paul George is was doing the alley oop and finding Kawhi Leonard to do here for 2019. I mean 2019, the 2020 season. After uh, his team, after Kawhi's team won the finals over the Golden State Warriors. So it's very hard for him to try to keep it up together. But more importantly, we have it all down and taking it from here, one step at a time. So we get, so we're all ready to get fueled up here, or down to five, and the foul will be on Ivica Zubox. This will be his first personal second team foul on the Clippers. And only Cameron Payne, he had never got he never got blocked up already of what he has done. Zubox would have been able to be getting a shot block out there and work and work his way on his run to make his career come to a seasoning end for the team. For that moment, we never see it going on. Everything's turning out to be just crazy. Not not everybody, not too much excitement. Payne's first shot goes in. New change coming in for the Suns and Clippers as Devin Booker is checked out. Cameron Payne moves to point guard. McCall and Chris Paul as Jared checked in. Jackson, George, Moore, senior number two were checked in, but Luke Kennard stays on the court. Two free throws for Cameron Payne is good. He has gotten his first Free throw attempt for game number four. Batum on eight and finding Jackson. Well played by the two. Marie Jackson's got his third bucket of the night. Only 543. Steal by Jackson. Last break, here we go. And a shot goes in. Four bucket for Jackson. As a steal was predicated up. And a turnover again is on the Suns. McCall Bridges right over to Payne. Payne right to Bridges. Now he finds it in over Batum. Shot getting unlucky, but he had it all. Aiden receiving his third bucket of the night. Not kind of tricky. 
but he really had it all. Just about five minutes here in the first half. Nick Batum on Aiton. Aiton's still comfortable doing his timing. Here's a drive, and it's good for Batum. They picked it up by seven. 4.43 left to play here in the first half, and Payne driving up, and he got it all. Payne is just working his way up to increase to the next level. By the way, if you're telling that McCall Bridges has it all, don't, don't, let, uh, don't let him be for the worse. Here's Aiden following the miss by Paul George with a three-point wide attempt. He finds Aiden. Oh! Come on, man. Finding Bridges again. Payne for a three. He has it all. A number three pointer here for Cameron Payne, and the assist is on to call Bridges. Clippers are trailing. They're still trailing up with a lot of points. I am not sure how many. George around Johnson, and a foul called on A and his first second team foul on the Suns. With only 3.53 left, and that will be Paul George shooting two free throws at the free throw line. This will be his first trip for game four. It was close, but it wasn't enough to take it from here. His first free throw is good. New change coming in for the Suns as Johnson is checked out. Crowder is checked in. Only one of them at a time. He hits both free throws and are up by 10. Chris Paul trying to work his way around here to make another one. Bridges rolling over to Payne. He's trying to help out the floor out there. Of an overhead pass, but called Bridges. Missed again. It's another rebound here for Ricky Jackson. He's picking it up. Still again. Avoiding a double man defender. Jackson, on he goes, inside the paint. He's on a hot start here, only missed one throw, but he has now 10. Crowder, right to Paul. Paul, right to Bridges. Pass back to Payne. Payne taking a drive inside, and the shot is off. Third team foul is called on Nicholas Batu. This will be his first personal foul. And, uh, and another free throw coming up is Cameron Payne. Will be a second trip to the free throw line in game four. Looks like the Valley is pushing it up a bit because they really wanted to win it all. To win it all at that point. They're really trying to keep pushing it. Not just the easy scoring bucket. the first free throw. And now a new changeup coming in will be Kennard checking out and Mann checking in. Perhaps we do not see uh, Patrick Beverly out there. What is up with him? The second free throw is good for Payne. They're up by 10. Only three minutes gone down in the first half. Bridges on George. He's still on it. Holding him on. George up. In and out. Missed another three. Aiden gets his fourth rebound. And he's on a streaking run. Looking out. Chris Paul for three. That doesn't go in there. That is another miss by the Phoenix Suns. Jackson in a drive. Up again. But doesn't get in that time. McCall Bridges takes the number rebound. Shot fade, right to Payne. 
Maine, right to Bridges, and a free second called on the grounder. That's going to be Clippers' ball. One more look on the block. That was amazing skills to see Chris Paul with a defense blockness on that ball in that game. It never felt like this before. So right now, Devin Booker has checked in for Karen Payne. And only 2.20 left to play here in the first half. Booker on man. Screen on Moore Sr. Senior outside, Sarich on the cover, and the floater is on Marcus Morris. He gets the first one here, and only two minutes left in the first half. Paul, right to Booker. Booker, back to Paul. Going back here is Sarich. Sarich drives up, and it goes in. Sarich gets his second bucket of the night. He is moving his skills even more. Man, right inside, and it goes around Aiden. He gets his first one here, and just about 90 seconds left here in the first half. Here's Paul, right to Crowder. Crowder, right over to Paul. The man is trying to pick him up fast, but he has to find his way to look for an open man. Shot clock down to six. Sarich can't make the layup drive, but he has making himself another rebound for Aiden. Another miss here for Phoenix Suns. Jake Crowder missed the three. Man finds more senior. Rolling back in is Ricky Jackson. And they're under a minute. George open. Three! Paul George. Finally gets the first three-pointer of the night in the second quarter. George is just, uh, he's working on his way, but that's what you call him, PG-13. Meanwhile, it's Chris Paul with the drive. He gets seven buckets in a row. Following along by the three-pointer. George, up again, trial, and one! Savage gets, gets a little late but has his first foul and fourth team foul on the Suns. And here's Cameron Johnson. He will be checking in for DeAndre Aiden as Sarich moves over to center. And Jay Crowder moving over to point forward. Two players are checking out. Two players are checking in, Kawhi Leonard and Rondo. One shot for Paul George. It's a free throw, and they will pick it up again. Chris Paul handling the ball with 30 seconds. Sarich, right over to Paul. Paul right to Booker, right around the layup drive, and a great solid D on man. George right to Leonard, and a foul has been tipped away. It's Cameron Johnson receiving his first personal. And the fourth team foul, 15 foul is on the, on the Phoenix Suns. 16.4 seconds. The shot, the game clock stopped. Coyle Leonard shooting two. No changes just yet. It's the first free throw. And he will hit the second one if he makes one in. shots and he just got it in. Chris Paul making his way as their team is down by three. Ten seconds left here. Paul back to Booker. Right to Crowder. Paul up ahead. Picking the three. Knocks it away. That ends up the first half here with 41 to 39 as the Clippers are trying to answer it back. Right now, let's hear from uh, David Aldridge, as I already just did. We'll be right back. It might be too late to do it. See you, see you guys later after this halftime show. We're all set to go here for the second half, and we are taking a quick look here to find out about what the player did. 
Long Island the ball has making history here tonight with the Clippers here at that moment with a dynamic duo of Paul George. 13 points, 5 out of 8 in field goals and on 9 minutes on court with, uh, with Paul George. He's doing really well, but now he has to let his team get back into the game. We are ready to start up at the second half while the, while the Phoenix Suns are still in the lead by 3. Kawhi Leonard makes the hit and he takes a tying point. They were down by 2, I right, man. So here's Booker, he's right down there taking a 3 pointer. No foul here! No foul called on Paul George. The shot's good, he's got the lead up by 2. Chris Paul still up on the run. Booker right over to Paul with a, with a layup. Oh, it's Batu with the block. First block of the game. Heard the Clippers finding his Aiden. Finds Crowder up a goes and he makes the shot. Aiden with the assist as Crowder reaches his third bucket of the night. He still ties it up completely. Leonard on bridge. He shoots up. And it goes in. Another two pointer here on Kawhi Leonard a claw. Well, meanwhile, Booker is still looking out and successful with making the pass. And now it's Aim with the drawing. Back pass on Crowder. Finds Booker. Driving it up. Oh, almost had it. But he saves it all. Booker gets seven points. Crowder would have able to help him out. Says, there's recover, 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 recover. And he has it, and he had it all before before making the attempt without attempting to steal it. Block Leonard finding his Jackson is good. Assist by Kawhi Leonard. Number two pointer here on Ricky Jackson. Here's Booker. He's reaching up again. Three pointer comes up and it goes in. Booker gets the lead up by one. Looks like the free corner out there, Booker is just getting started. But it's on its way to hit to the finals. Rebounded by Aiden as Paul George missed the drive and a great D here. George has got 10 points here in this game, three out of nine. They might have reset it up, back from the top. They're gonna try to figure this out already. Finding emotion is Booker. Five to shoot over Leonard. And again, Booker can hit the two. Jackson on Aiden. It's Paul, and oh, he just got hooked up. Chris Paul receiving his first personal. Another first, another team foul going on is the Phoenix Suns. That would be number five. Ricky Jackson shooting two free throws again once more. It's very hard for him to try to keep it going. But, it's, but it doesn't get there at the right timing. It's very hard for him to teach and learn. First free throw is good. A new change here. He's coming your way. First ball checked out. Kevin Payne's checked in. And for Clippers, George is checked out. And a new change up is Kennard. He gets both free throws. They have the lead up by one. Still then, it's still keeping it going for Payne to keep it an eye on. Ryder lost the ball. It's Kennard with the steal. Finding a pass, Jackson. And he takes it up to the advantage for Freddie Jackson. Right now, they're up by three. Paul Bridges taking it too, and he has no time to take a look at an open point free three pointer. But Paul Bridges says no, no finish yet. We're still going. Leonard on bridge with a big shot. It's missed off entirely again. 3.42 to go here for the third quarter. Crowder right over to Payne. Payne right to Bridges. Helping the screen out is Aiden. With a drive, McCall. Bridges can't handle the flow, but it's now Crowder with the rebound. 
Payne with the short jump, and he doesn't hit the three-pointer. A lot of tough shots are coming in afterwards, but it doesn't work that well. Canard with three. A rebound on Moore Sr. Over Aiden. Once again, another miss is on the Clippers. They're having trouble out there. Two on one break. Aiden with the shot, and he picks up a lead by two. Booker gets another assist here, and he just keeps it going. Next timeout is on the Clippers. No timeout left for the Phoenix Suns, as they are still getting their way. But right now, they're just going to change it up to do the two by three. So, in the, in the spot where they are picking it up. I'm not sure if you remember this, but this is whatever happened before that the brother was able to keep her eyes open on. But that is what they really want to give it all from here. Now we'll check out um, uh, Devin Booker, and I'm bringing Chibon Carter. And checking in from here, we'll, we'll try out is Kaminsky the third and DeAndre Aiden checking out. I will go ahead and bring Dario Saric back in. And I'm going to switch it up to two to three zone. Let's try to let's try to keep the pick and rolls here. So we take one of the let's do one of the play throughs and find out if there's anything. Nope, I don't see anybody. Pick and rolls is for Oro. Checked out already. Man is checked back in. Rajon Rondo is up already on the court. Can I run up? Green! Good on! Gets the lead up by one. Javon Carter with a drive. Oh, you can't stop him. Javon Carter takes a fast break and right in the paint it goes. He's got his first bucket for the second half. Chris Paul missing his substitution. Kaminsky the third will try and he makes a drive. This will be his first bucket for Kaminsky the third in game four. Just about two minutes here in the third quarter. Jimon on Rondo. Kennard. Three pointer no good. It will be Kaminsky the third taking the first rebound. Up and in, up and in is Saric. Chris Paul, shot fade, reaches, Javon Carter, from the elbow, shot, makes it in, Javon Carter gets his second bucket, that's number four on the back, with Paul Bridges with the assist, Lucanar, nobody on him, three, Roshan Rondo with the assist, timeout, Phoenix, Suns. With 1.22 to go, we are still looking up ahead and finding out if there's another chance for them to score it around the lead. I'll set up a call Bridges. I will go ahead and bring uh, Tori Craig, Tori Craig back in. And I'm going to set up uh, Chris Paul because he's on 64. Well, actually, let's, let's see what happens here as we make a new switch on offense. There may not be anything left to do it from here. Switch here for the Suns as Craig is checked in. Chris Paul still on the court, but not making new, not checking out anyway. Chris Paul right to Craig. Craig bounce pass to Saric. Zubots checked out and Nick Batum checked in. Javon Carter, oh my, what a drive! And Carter gets his first bucket. Well played out there. Not the rookie starter, but that's how it is. Man up. Bringing it back the other way is Carter and not able to do it from here. Oh, I almost forgot the tornado warning is hitting us in. If you're in New Jersey, please evacuate immediately to take it from here. And the first call turned out to be a travel violation. We had the first call that picked it up from here and nobody has saw it. 
and that was the one that everyone was thinking. Like I said before, uh, the tornado warning is happening right here in New Jersey. If you are in the Garden States, in the Garden State, please, please be very careful along with the evacuation and proceed to shelter immediately from here. This is for all the people who are watching this video. Please evacuate this one immediately because uh, we are still having some, we're still having another, another tornado, another storm issue here, and we do not want anybody to get hurt. So if you, if there's a tornado nearby, please seek shelter immediately. So, like I already said, it will never happen again, but we have a little rain that happens here. Those of you are, those of you are still okay. I know I have it on my phone. If you have it on your device, you must know that it could be dangerous to do it anyway. So that's the end of the fourth quarter. And right now we are heading up to the fourth quarter. 63-61 is your score. We'll be right back with you after this. And a moment now to check out the State Farm Assist of the Game. Not seeing here tonight, but this is what they were expecting to see the Suns as DeAndre Ayton was picking his way up. And he had all just a, just plenty of the, plenty of that call and try to go with Crowder. Well played for him, but this is for him when he was was just trying to play like do some little pick and rolls here, but it's not going to work out as he made a screen. It's very hard for him to try to keep it up here. More comes easy ways. Crowder making a drive, and this will be eight. Be very careful out there. Do not let anybody get hurt with the with the with the clock on. And with a missed three-pointer up Paul George, he doesn't handle it all. Hooker on man. Finds uh, finds a look over here, double on it. We're about to travel. You know, we haven't seen any traveling violation out there. We've never seen that one coming. Hooker with a three. It doesn't go in that time. It's George with the rebound. Man on its way. And he ducks it! He moves it along that fast, and they are putting it back on the road. Down by two. Ball right to Crowder. Bounce pass to Devin Booker. Crowder up for three. Doesn't hit that time. Johnson with the rebound. Paul tries it again. Shot down. Shot clock to seven. And a layup is going in for Chris Paul. Thinking about what he wanted to do to try to look for an open drive. But it doesn't end off that time. Timeout goes on to Clippers with 532 remaining. Not just enough to get there, but if you're enjoying a men's basketball and looking for a someone's win, someone to take a win, there might be more on the way to take us up to have it all. Espana is a part of Spain that they're playing for. And also, also it's part of Espanol with with um with Mexico and Argentina. Well, if Argentina is a is is a part of Spanish that they want that they have it here, then that counts. But that's the moment of part that you have never ever expected to see that one. But that's more that's more unrealistic than everyone was thinking. I love I love doing the Mexican foods and they're they're very good. I'm not the only guy who wants to jump to, uh, to go to traveling in far countries or anyway, if I can speak that way. Only new changes are allowed, and we have this big platoon still up, and again, Cameron Payne is checked in for Chris Paul. Jackson, inside, makes the shot and one in the, in the beginning of the fourth quarter. The Clippers are up again in wild. Here's Payne just trying to pick it up and try to attack it on the course, or at least. Johnson still wandering around already, but doesn't want to get, it, get hit by the defender. Booker back to Payne. Payne around George, I mean Jackson, I meant. 
And Payne has a layup drive here. He has 14 points, but he's trailing by five points on a goal from Kawhi Leonard's 19 points. Oh, a save me by Nick Batum. What a good comeback. Jackson for three. They are working their way around. George on Booker. Looking for Kawhi Leonard to pick it up. Last this one. And it's Crowder denying the ball. For Aiden. Let me, re let me replay this one again. I think that was on Aiden. I'm, I'm, I'm begging that was him. Let's see which one who had it first. Here it is. Here's the instant replay. Oh, it was Aiton that picked it up first before Crowder had the ball. And that play was just a unforgettable that turned it up from here. So that was a great defender here on Aiton. And yes, the challenge was called already, so it wasn't Crowder picking up a uh, block shot. And that's all there is. Letter for two. That's good. They're down by two. They're picking up the pressure. 405 left. Booker way out front. Finding a look is Aiden. Aiden right to Payne. Payne right to Booker. Booker looking the floor. Finding Aiden. Johnson still running, running behind. And the foul is tipped away on Kawhi Leonard. He has his first personal foul and another team foul picked up on the Clippers. Johnson will head back to the free throw line to shoot two, and he hasn't been doing it before since game number two or three. I don't know which one it is, if it's the Valley or Los Angeles. You may not know. We may not know what will happen. Makes the first free throw for Johnson, only 3.47 left to play. Here, and this one is extending it up by four. He makes one shot. And he hits both free throws. Johnson has picked up his first bucket here in the fourth quarter, and he finally had one. Now George will try to survey the floor. The double man on him. Coming inside, George hitting the two! And he is knocking down in the lead by over Devin Booker. Oh, but Booker doesn't have that time. It was off and uh, no away. Booker, alley-oop. Oh, Browder denies the alley-oop in an unsuccessful, turns out to be the Clippers, but it's Johnson, and a foul reached again. Morris Sr. has picked up his second personal foul, and Johnson will head back to the free throw line, shooting two. Second trip since game three. Not even remembering about myself. I, I'm sorry. It's very hard to try to find out who had the most. First one falls in. New changes for the Suns as Chris Paul and McCall Bridges checked in for Payne. And Johnson heads the small forward to point forward. Man, those two teams are the killers out there. They're trying to work their way around. Johnson hits two free throws and that will be up by four. Free throws in comparison. Perfect on a run for Clippers and the and the and the Suns. There might be more out there. And a shot in and out. Three minutes left here in the fourth. Open look, Booker for three. That goes in. And wow, definitely looking that run. Devin Booker, he's the he's the only guy that just wanted to prove it all. And he's definitely a superstar too in the Western Conference. Well play on that run, here's George. Three-pointer out, but it's still, it's taken over by the Booker. 
Chris Paul finishing the drive. Arliss Paul George with a block. And they put the rejection on Chris Paul. What a play defenseman that he had. Now they're bringing back the starting five. Johnson's checked out and Crowder's checked in. The Suns really need to pick it up a lot of points already. They're also back on the starting five. Now they're bringing it back. Trying to pick up the win it. Minute of the win it. Booker inside. That's a good pass here by Jay Crowder. 15 points for Booker and Crowder. Another great assist here. That's number two. Let it outside. He finds Moore Senior. Picks it in. Moore Senior has his second bucket in. Booker right to Bridges. Only two minutes left in the fourth quarter. Ball up. The drive's in and run. Extending the lead by 10. Now Kawhi Leonard needs to try again. On Booker. And bring it up. Kawhi Leonard up. A shot is no good. And Crowder picking up five rebounds here for game four. Aiden back to Paul. Chris Paul right to Aiden. Over to George. And it doesn't hit that. Seconds here. George hitting a two. It missed again. Another rebound here by Eaton. He passes up to Chris Paul. Chris Paul, it blocked it away. Another steal by the Clippers. Another turnover by the Suns. And they uh, line it up, making the drive. They're down by eight. Chris Paul decides to take the timeout with a minute and two seconds. This might be hard for him to stop by. It's not hard for him to keep it going. But it really is turning out to be a hard like it's never done before. So we're making new changes here. All four players are checking out. I'm bringing Sarah back in. I'm going to go ahead and just try to get Kaminsky to burn back in the game. Chris Paul out, and I'm going to have Cameron Payne check back in. And Devin Book around as I have people on Carter back in. And we'll make another new change here. And now let's check out the new balance player of the game as this one goes out to Devin Booker. Booker is not the only one who wants to see it. That game has just got better. Oh man, I definitely think that Devin Booker was definitely receiving his time, but at the moment of all what we have been waiting, the crowd was in silent because they never had to face a win here against the Suns since early then. It might be hard for them to doing it for real. Payne, right to Sarich. Sarich up to Payne. Payne in the drive. It's up and it's all out of the hand. Jackson George up. No good. Sarich with the rebound. Kaminsky the fern has it. Passing over to Bridges. The little man on him finding Payne. Right around corner. He shoots around for two and he makes it. Jevon Carter has never faced out the mist at that point. George back to Leonard. Three for George. That's good. Three. But the time is ticking away, only 20 seconds, and it looks like Cameron Payne will have to close the gap from here. And Payne will have to just finish it off already. And the last possession for the Suns as able to set free. And that will do it.
final score is 79, I mean 86 to 79. The Suns win and heading on to the NBA Finals as a part of the Western Conference champion. So that does it for us, folks. The only game left we have is the Bucks versus the Sixers. And if you like what we do, make sure you follow NBA on their social media. And don't forget to subscribe to his channel. You can check out the real highlights here for the Clippers and the Suns at the link right in the description to search it up for the highlights in each game. And that does it, folks. Thank you for watching. And with all that being said, we're waiting for the winning team of the Eastern Conference to take it home to be the champion and head to the finals to finish the closeout. So that does it here. Peace out, bitches. And for as a while as the Western Conference, NBA Western Conference Finals dial. And we'll see you all back here for the Eastern Conference of Game 3 of Bucks vs. Sixers. Good night in LA. Until next time. You've probably heard how Tony is so famous. In fact, you've probably heard how Tony was the greatest. I'm black and proud, honestly, I'm fateless. But y'all whack clown smirk, y'all think I'm faking. But truth be told, y'all turds, y'all just hating. And y'all yearn for rooms of the gold in my rankings. All y'all fakest haters, traitors, y'all are Satan. Y'all keep saying y'all will make it, I'm still waiting.